Hi everyone, welcome back to Ben on Landscapes. We're going to continue on through with our plant ID guide today and the plant that we're going to cover is a Taxus Pocata, uh, also known as a U. Uh, this is it behind me here. It's, uh, it's used in design for all kinds of things like screening, uh, softening up uh, hard walls and just creating a bit of a contrast with, um, with stone and, and things like that. It's a really deep green and uh, we use it quite a lot. It's more of an expensive shrub but um, it's for a reason because it's, a, it's pretty useful and, um, and a very nice shrub at the same time. So uh, in terms of planting it's, um, it, it can tolerate most soils including chalky soils. Uh, we're up in Guildford here and this is, um, there's a lot of chalk here so this, this does, it thrives here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty. It's all around the garden here as well. But um, yeah, it's a it, planting-wise. I would dig a dig a deep hole, uh, deep enough and wide enough so that the laterals can spread out. Just make sure it's it's a fair bit deeper than the root ball. Um, and then uh, you can sprinkle root growing to give it a second root system, but uh, that's not needed. It's mainly just just make sure you put enough compost in there and make sure that it's, it's deep and wide enough so that the roots can spread out and really um, really take hold. Uh, in terms of maintaining it. This is one of the uh, one of the few coniferous uh, shrubs that will bounce back every time it's been tr trimmed. It's never really advisable to take anything that's coniferous too far back, but this one really will bounce back most of the time. So uh, it's a really useful shrub, and we use it a lot. Um, and yeah, other than that, there's not too much more to say about it. If there are holes in between it, don't worry too much. You can either plant another one in between there, or um, it will. If you, if you cut it down from the top, trim it at the top. Uh, it'll thicken out, as with most shrubs, it'll thicken out from the sides. So if you trim it at the sides, it'll trim it, thicken out at the top. Trim it out at the top, it'll thicken out at the sides. Um, and other than that, it's, it's a pretty straightforward shrub. Just make sure you give it enough water when it's establishing, and uh, it should give you, um, it should be uh, settled in year after year and give you a, a nice looking shrub. Um, you can also use it for topiary as well. So I um, hope that helps. I'll uh, see you again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.